Hey everyone, this is Dylan Jones with Frontier Precision, and today I'm going to be showing you a quick demonstration of the power line extraction feature. Uh, so in Trimble Business Center version 5.4, they released the auto extraction line feature tools, and uh, in this video we're going to be showing specifically this tool for overhead lines. So I have a point cloud data set that I want to extract some power lines from. You can see here um, quite a bit of power line information to extract. Doing that manually might take quite some time. So we're going to speed up that process using the new extract line feature tool here in the point clouds ribbon. Now that this tool is opened up, I'm going to turn on a limit box that I've uh, created for just this section of power line. Not entirely necessary, but uh, just makes it a little easier to uh, pick out my power lines. So what this looks like here, uh, with the overhead lines extraction type selected, we can set up our line settings, giving each line a name, layer, style, and color. And then we need to pick a start point and end point for our extraction, basically telling it to start and stop at a certain point along the power line. So I'm going to do that. And then now what I do is I pick each power line, just anywhere in the point cloud on each individual power line. So I'm going to do that really quickly. And you'll notice that it places icons on each of the power lines, notifying you that that power line is selected for extraction. This rectangular box indicates the search parameter window. Uh, so we have a search length and a search width. Essentially, the algorithm is running a search for, uh, for line data, and um, we can, we can uh, configure these uh, search length and widths depending on the density of the point cloud and other factors. Okay, let's go ahead and extract these power lines. You'll see that happen in real time here. Okay, now that our line work is extracted, we can review the data by going into the post QA QC tab. And if we like the fit, we can go ahead and go to the next line. And it looks like the fit is very good for all of them. This is just a way for you to go through QA QC and ignore any lines that might have been misrepresented or drawn in incorrectly okay and then you have some line smoothing options whether you want the original fit a best fit line or a smooth curve which may or may not make any difference as to how it's uh, extracted it originally just know you have those options there and then you can choose add all that will add in the 3D um, line strings and that is it. That's all it takes to extract power lines now with the extract line feature tool. Hopefully you found this beneficial and will join us again next time. Thank you.